right? Shout out to one. First and foremost, I get a praise and say glory, not a two. Say yeah, I will watch. Yeah, I will shout. Yeah, I will shout. Yeah, I will shout. Yeah, I and a heavy bomb, which is famous like a hot bomb. And it's on the end, so a hot ship, a name of Mashiach, a hot ship. You're going to Walmart, you know? All those are the true names in the ancient world of the people. The last rock and I started to tell. And I say, uh, Barack Obama to the, uh, introduce for Akuma Akuma. And I say, shout out to Akuma. Out here again, uh, second time, on Ivory's FCT Fest Concourse. On this uh, Thursday noon, uh, September 18th, 2024. Why do you have Mashiach? You know, for giving us an increase in the chance to come out. So, click up the names that you have on your chat. And after all. This is the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 1. It says, uh, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that raise up against me a strong wind. Jeremiah 51, verse 2. And I will send unto Babylon, unto Benjamin, and shall banish her into your land. But the day of trouble shall be against her round about. Jeremiah 51, verse 3. And against him that let the arch bend his bow, cry those arrows, blow those missiles, and against him that lift himself up in his bride. Spare you not her young men, spare you out of all her hosts. And this is of the prophet Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 4. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the child need, and they that are thrust in their streets. This is of the prophet Jeremiah 51 and verse 5. For Israel has not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power of Yahweh of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Jeremiah 51 and verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man's soul. Be not cut off for a day. But this is the time you have a bent to be warned that was over recompense. Right when they're into our recompense of our Babylon tree. Jeremiah 51, this is our uh, spiritual Babylon. Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Babylon had been a glory cup in your hand, had made all the earth drunk. The nation had dropped the blood that was in this song. Right, so the nation are mad at uh, my face, spiritual Babylon. Uh, Babylon has been a go to cup in your house since the new day. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 8. It says, Babylon suck and fall, destroy, have her take off her pain, and so they should be healed. Right, so there's no healing for all of the spiritual Babylon. Jeremiah 51, verse 9. Will we have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. The second her, let us go at once to some country. But her judgment reaches the heavens, it's slipped up to the skies. Right, so the judgment of spiritual Babylon has been reaching to heavens, and it's slipped up even to the skies still to this day. And this is out of Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 10, and it reads, And the power of Yahweh has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare into Zion one of the works of Yahweh our power. Jeremiah 51, verse 11, Make right the arrows, right those missiles, and gather the shoes, and Yahweh has raised up the spirits of the kings to me, which is the Russians against Babylon. But his device against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of Yahweh and the vengeance of his temple. Right, his vengeance against modern day spiritual Babylon, and against his temple are his people, the Israelites. Jeremiah 51 verse 12, set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make watch strong, set up a watchman. Prepare the ambush, for you have had both devised and done that which is fake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Right, the inhabitants of modern day spiritual Babylon, just like ancient Babylon as well, too. The prophet Jeremiah 51 verse 13, it reads, Old out the well upon many waters. It says, All about, all about, it says, All about the well upon many waters and upon the trillions. Now, in this come, in the best of my cups, it is. This is uh, prophet Jeremiah 51. 14. And Yahweh of hosts has strong by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with bed as with pallet for the may show love of your shadow of Stephen. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 51 and verse 15. He hath made the earth by his power, he hath established the world by his wisdom, and he hath stretched out the heavens by his understanding. Verse 16. When he uttered his voice, there is a multitude of waters in heavens. He caused the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He make it like the rain, he bring it forth out of, uh, out of his treasure. The wind out of his treasure, I meant to say, Salaki. This is out of Prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 17. So that's the righteous balance of the Heavenly Father of his creation. Verse 17. Every man is good by his knowledge, and every found is defined by his perfect image. Why? Psalms 96 and verse 5. It says, For his multi image is falsehood, there is no birth in it. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 18. They are vanity in the works of ever, and its time visitation shall perish. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like him, for he is the form of all things, and Israel is the bride of his inheritance. And Yahweh opposes his name. Prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. With thee I will break the peace of the nations, and with thee I will destroy kings. Right, Yahshua Allah, that's the power on the battle axe and weapons of war that has the Father Yahweh. And the Heavenly Father Yahweh, he's a man of war himself, like it says in Exodus 15, verse 3. Jeremiah 51, verse 21. It says, uh, With thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. With thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Jeremiah 51, verse 22. It says, With thee I will also break in pieces man and woman. With thee I will break in pieces 
the young man and the maid. Thee, I will break in pieces the young man and the maid. Jeremiah 51, verse 23. I will also break in pieces the shepherd's flock. Thee, I will break in pieces the husband. Justin Oxford, Thee, I will break in pieces the captain's wood. Jeremiah 51, verse 23. And I will go that unto Babylon and to all the absence of Chaldea. All the evil that they had done to Zion. The rest of the day, and your sight said, I will. Jeremiah 51, verse 25. It says, uh, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mouth to save the power, which destroy up all the hurt still to the day. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and I will roll thee down from the rocks, and I will make thee a burnt mountain. And this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 26. And they shall not take of thee a storm from the corner, nor a storm from the foundations, but thou shalt be destined for ever save your power. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 27. Set up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call together against her. The kings of Asher are committed, and ask God to point a cap against her. Cross the horses of the Lord, throw out of it. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 28. It says, Prepare against other nations with the kings of the Medes, which the Russians against Babylon. It says, The captains thereof, and all the roofs thereof, all the lands of his domain. This is the prophet Jeremiah 51, verse 29. Land to tremble and sorrow for every purpose of how it should be formed against Babylon to make the land Babylon a destination without habitations. Jeremiah 51 verse 30. Rockets is going to make a mighty spiritual Babylon a destination without habitations. Jeremiah 51 verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon were going to fight. They have remained at whole, and my hands filled. They become as women. They have burned her dwelling place and are broken. Right, so we're going to see the uh, increasing of this uh, downfall of modern day spiritual Babylon. And this is uh, Revelations 18 and verse 1. Yep, everything good. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation 18 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. It says, that the great power of the earth was like this door. Revelation 18 and verse 2. He cried, not until they strong voice saying, Babylon the great small, the small. It's become the habitation of the sea. And they hold the air to our spirit. And they came from every one of them in the age of 18. Right, so we're seeing the uh, increase and downfall of uh, modern day spirits in Babylon. Because all the nations can jump off the ways of Babylon still to the day. And now we see the nations are rising up against her of this uh, modern day spiritual Babylon and modern day times. The scripture says there's no new thing in the sun, like it says, please gas is one verse nine. This is uh, Revelation 18, verse 3. But all the nations have jumped from wine and right for her fornication, like it says to the day. And the kings of the earth who had committed fornication with her, and merchants of the earth were waxed strips, through the abundance of her delicacies. Revelation 18, verse 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that she be not protected her sins, but see none of her plagues. Right, so it's very important for the children of Israel to come out of the ways of Babylon, mentioned in scripture, and come back into the righteous path and righteous ways inside the heavenly father, as her being the chosen people of the heavenly father. Revelation 18, verse 5, for her sins have reached the heavens, and Yahweh has never heard of it. Right, but the sins of Babylon never has. Uh, the sins of Babylon has reached the heaven still to this day, and the heavenly father has been for iniquity in uh, modern day times. And this modern day spirit you are about to Revelation 18, verse 6. Before her, even as she bore you, the devil hunts her according to her works, and the devil she has filled with her husband. Revelation 18, verse 7. How much she has glorified herself to live in this world. So much sorrow, so much sorrow, and sorrow give her, but she has it in her heart, right? Her heart's in her mind. Scripture says the heart is the of all things. I sit a queen, I am the widow, and shall see the salt. Revelation 18, verse 8, it reads, Therefore, shall her blood is coming one day, death, morning, and famine. She shall be utterly burnt with fire. For your house, uh, for your house, not how we judge her, like Babylon, the first, this modern spiritual battle. Revelation 18, verse 9, and the king is going to be at the end of the one of the cases of her. That is, this is the word of her, and then we're going to be able to see the salt of her birth. Revelation 18, verse 10. Standing upon all of the spirit of torment, saying, At last, at last, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for a one hour that just come, right there, one hour that just come on the Babylon Bridge. It's a modern spiritually of Babylon Bridge. Revelation 18, verse 11. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, but no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Revelation 18, verse 12. It says, The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls. And the Says, in all manner of vessels and most precious goods, in the brass of iron and all. Revelation 18, verse 13. And wine and oil and meat and flour, and beasts and weeps and sheep and slaves and chariots and slaves, souls of man. Revelation 18, verse 14. And the fruit of thy lust, after all the part of thee, and all things which are ordained, and the part of thee, and thou shalt find no more at all. 
Revelation 18 and verse 15, and the merchants of these things were told made rich by her. She shall stand afar off for the fear of her tomb, and saying, Weep in the will. Revelation 18 and verse 16, saying, At last, at last, that great city Babylon, that was clothed with fine linen and purple and scarlet, and decked with gold and precious stones and perils. Revelation 18 and verse 17, for in one hour so great riches come to naught. And every ship master all the country, the sheep and sailors, and many years trade by seas to the fall. Uh, Revelation 18 and verse 18, and they cried when they saw the smoke of her burning. He said, What city is like unto this great city? Right, Babylon the Great, the modern day spiritual Babylon. Revelation 18 and verse 19, and they cast dust on their heads, and they cried, and people in the wind, saying, At last, at last, that great city, which was made rich, and had ships in the seas by reason of her apostles, for in one hour she is made desolate. Revelation 18 and verse 20, Rejoice over her, thy heavens, ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh will avenge you on her. Revelation 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone up a great hill, so he passed it into the sea, saying, Thus will the rocks of a great city, and will be thrown down, and it shall not be found any more at all. Revelation 18 verse 22. And the voice of the harpers and musicians, and of harpers and trumpets, shall be heard no more at all thee. And no craftsman, whoever craft he be, shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of the millstone shall be heard no more at all thee. Right, the Babylon and Greek is going to be no more remembrance, especially this uh, modern conspiracy Babylon. Revelation 18, verse 23. And the light of the candle shall be shined no more at all thee. And the voice of the bridegrooms and all the brides shall be heard no more at all thee. For my merchants, for a great man of the earth, for my sorceries will all nations see. Now, this is uh, Revelation 18, verse 24. It says, uh, When I heard, it says, The earth was not the of the prophets and the saints that were slain upon the earth. Uh, make sure everything good. And this is a. Uh, Yep, get to that uh Revelate, I mean uh the book of Psalms. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down, we wept, we remember Zion, right about four box. Psalms 137, verse 2. We hang our hearts upon the wilderness, right? We are we are our forefathers in the reincarnation. And you saw Edom are their forefathers in the reincarnation. Psalms 137, verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat down, we wept, yea, we remember uh, Zion. Psalms 137, verse 2. We hang our hearts upon the willows in the midst there were Psalms 137, verse 3. But they were carried away us captive, required us a song, and they sang, they wasted us, required us a mirth, saying, Sing us one of those songs unto Zion. Psalms 137, verse 4. How should we song, how should we sing Yahweh's song in a strange land? Psalms 135, verse 5. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget thee. Psalms 137, verse 6. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer my Jerusalem above my chief joy. Psalms 137, verse 7. It says, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom. In the day of Jerusalem, he said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundations thereof. Psalms 147, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that avoid thee, thou hast served us. Psalms 137, verse 7. I mean, Psalms 147, verse 9. Happy shall he be that taken the dash like little ones and stones. Right, so that's going to happen to these uh, Edomites, what they did to all the forefathers and ancestors. That's going to happen to us. They're going to change this world too, right? So, so that's why the Heavenly Father is going to remember uh, Esau, Edom. And they at Jerusalem said, Raise the race, even to the foundations of the world. And the uh, daughter of Babylon for art to be destroyed. That's why we are prophesying this uh, modern day Babylon now, so more to the best I do. And this is, uh, get to that second edge. Yeah, this is the second edge, chapter 9, verse 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time, double the end of the seven thousand cities and parts of the signs past, which I had told you before. All right, so we're going to continue to measure the time, double the end of the seven now, so more than ever. Uh, sound the alarm, blowing the trumpet now, so more than ever. Uh, prophesying against great princes and great kings of war, we want the peasants occupying the prophecies and measuring the time diligently in the seven, having that increase in spiritual discernment to the best of our ability. The second chapter of Shalom, that verse 2. It says, Then thou shalt understand, it is a very same time wherein the highest, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, so the Heavenly Father is going to begin to visit the world which he made. The second chapter of Shalom, that verse 2. It says, uh, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, of the world will the world. Right, so increasing earthquakes, increasing upwards of people in the world. Second edge of chapter 9 and verse 4. Then thou shalt understand that the most high Yahweh spake of these things from the days of the before the even from the beginning. Right, so the heavenly father spoke of these very important signs from the days of the before the even from the beginning. And these are the signs of the times we'll take heed to it. 
the second edition shop in Nana verse 5. But like Paul that is made war at the beginning and ends manifest, right prophecies come to pass to fulfill and increase the building of the second edition shop in Nana verse 6. It's always being more, more manifest in the last days, just like it was in ancient times and seeing it in poverty times. The second edition shop in Nana verse 6. Even so, the times also the highest, which shall have the heavenly father, have plain beginning and wonder in powerful works and the effects of science. Right, so these are uh, powerful works and the effects of science going to occur more and more in science case from the visitation of the heavenly father himself. Second Edge chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith we have believed. Right, so through our works and by faith we have believed us this one. Second Edge chapter 9, verse 8. Shall be reserved from the sad prayers and shall seek my salvation in my land. But then I fortify and sanctify them with me from the beginning. I don't want to rock inside that with the same fight from the beginning. I don't want to rock inside. We don't ever need to be part of the table, be part of the table. We don't ever need to be part of the Second edition, Anna, verse 9. Then shall they be in his case, which they have used my ways, that the ways they have brought. They have cast away the spike, which is the world eternal. Second edition, chapter 9, verse 10, it reads from the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures. But for such as in the life I have received any of this, I have not known that I have some more than that the Bible receives many of this. Second edition, chapter 9, verse 11. And they that have ruled by law, which is lost out to the members of the heavenly father, while they have yet liberty, as a place of repentance is open unto them, and still not despised the Christ to the day. Second Amish chapter 9, verse 12. The same as the Lord after that for the way. Second Amish 9, verse 13. It says, uh, Therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly should be punished, but inquire the righteous shall be saved, from whom the Lord is, from whom the Lord is created. Uh, second Amish chapter 9, verse 14. Then answer I you say, Second Amish 9, verse 15. I had said before, now to speak, will speak it here, uh, hereafter. There shall be many of them first, of which of them that we shall be saved. Second edition, and verse 16. Like as a way greater than a drop. That's uh, second edition. Second edition, 15, verse 1. It says, uh, Behold, speak thou of the ears of my people the words of prophecies, which I put in thy mouth, said Yahweh. Right, so the Heavenly Father uh, had us to uh, speak the words of prophecies unto the uh, Israelites. Like it says, Ezekiel the third chapter, what they hear, what they can hear. And a prime example of uh, speaking the words of prophecies unto the children of Israel, you know, telling them to come back to the Heavenly Father as being the chosen people, you know, uh, bidding them to the marriage, to return back to the Heavenly Father, you know, out here, Christian, for the elect, uh, telling the Israelites what's taking place right now and what's about to come very soon. So that's just prime examples that the Heavenly Father put these words in our mouth and speaking to the children of Israel, just like our forefathers did. And I see this in modern day times. This is uh, second edge chapter 15 verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Right? So the words of the Holy Scriptures of the Heavenly Father that's written in paper, they are faithful and true. This is second edge chapter 15 and verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of the trouble thee that speak against thee. Right? For the scoffers and mockers. Like it says in uh, second Peter 3 and verse 3. This is uh, second edge 15 verse 4. For all the unfaithful to thee are even in unfaithful for the unbelievers. Second Edges 15 verse 5, it says, Behold, said the Howard thou will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right, that's what the Heavenly Father's going to be bringing these last days. Second Edges chapter 15 verse 6, it says, uh, For wickedness have you seen, leave the whole earth, and the whole world's unfulfilled. Right, so even the wickedness have you seen, leave the whole earth, and the whole world's unfulfilled still to this day. And this is uh, Second Edges chapter 15 verse 7, it says, uh, Therefore, said the Howard, verse 8, I will hold my tongue no more as that touch that wickedness. Which they profane and commit, neither I will suffer them in those things in which they will be exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous will cry to me, and the souls of the just complain continuously. Right, Ezekiel the ninth chapter, before the elders of Ahashim, our forefathers as well, too. The souls of the just complain continuously, still to this day. Second Edge chapter 15, verse 9. And therefore, say, if you will, I will surely avenge them, receive unto me all the innocent love from among them. Second Edge 15, verse 10. It says, Well, behold, my people will play at the clock of the clock. I will not suffer them to have away. This is a common experience. Second Edges 15, verse 11. But I will bring them out with a mighty hand, and they stretch their arms and smite each of the plagues as before, and I will destroy all the plagues over them. Right, so the Heavenly Father is going to send plagues as before. This is a common experience. Second Edges 15, verse 11. We'll read that again. But I will bring them out with a mighty hand, and they stretch their arms and smite each of the plagues as before, and I will destroy all the plagues over them. Second Edges 15, verse 12. Right, this is going to be a uh, modern day uh, deliverance out of the modern day spirit of Egypt, Mizraim, the house of bondage. This is a modern day, uh, this is a modern day spirit of Egypt. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 12. 
is that Egypt should know and the foundation should be smitten with plagues of punishment that your house should bring upon you. And this is uh, 2 Exodus 15, verse 13. They that took the ground should mourn for the seed should fill for the blessing hail for the fifth consolation. And this is uh, 2 Exodus chapter 15, verse uh, 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Look up by road, uh, W O E, goes into uh, great distress. 2 Exodus 15, verse 15. But the sword, not the sword's weapon. It said, the sword of destruction drop down, and one people should stand up the body against another with swords in their hands. Or I can see that throughout the whole planet Earth. It's only going to continue to increase. Second, Exodus 15, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, right among men, among the nations, invading one another. They should not regard their kings nor their princes, and of course, they actually stand in power. Right citizens rising up against their leaders in power, and that's what we're seeing. Especially due to these uh, increasing uh, protests, seditions, and uprisings. Like it says in Luke 21, verse 25, the expression of nations were complacent and seas raised born. Uh, second Edges 9, verse 3. Uproars and people world in uh, earthquakes as well, too. Second Edges 15, verse 17. It means the desire for God to be seen, you should not give to. Right, it's going to be a time where it means the desire to God to be seen, you should not give to. And due to these uh, concentration camps, these uh, beating camps, uh, state of emergency, these martial laws, these are the times about to enter into. Second Edges 15, verse 18. But because of that pride, the city should be tripled, and the house should be destroyed, and man should be free. Right, that's at uh, Proverbs 16, verse 18. And this is uh, 2 Edges 15, verse 19. And man should have no pity upon his neighbor, which we're saying right now, amongst the Israelites and outside in the other nations as well, too. It says a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their house with the sword, you know, the mob of sword's weapon, and spoil their goods because of a lack of bread against relation. Right, because of a lack of bread against relation. And this is uh, the book of Amos 8 verse 11 because it's going to be a family word as well too. This is uh, Amos 8 verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will send a famine in a land, not a famine of bread, nor plus of water, but the different other words of Yahweh. So it's going to be a family word, not a bread, not a water, but the different other words of Yahweh. Uh, Amos 8 verse 11. Days shall run from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. Many shall run to and fro, try to seek the words of Yahweh, the Yahweh shall not find them. Right, that's why it's very important for the Israelites, as being the heavenly father shows the people why the heavenly father still got his arms and stretched out still. Hey, like Isaiah 55 verse 6, seek ye how he may be found, call upon him while he's here. It's uh, Daniel 12. Yeah, this is uh, Daniel 12 verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standing for the children of thy people, right, for Israelites. And there shall be a time of trouble, so there never was since there was a nation. Even to the same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, and everyone shall be found written in the book. It is uh, Daniel 12, verse 2. And many of them that seek the blessed of earth shall be to have a life like the same as the same, and the And it's uh, Daniel 12, verse 3. They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the virgin. It says, They that turn many to righteousness as the stars of heaven and ever. This is uh, Daniel 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shall the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to the fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Right, so on the last days, knowledge shall be increased, and definitely uh, Michael the Archangel will have to stand up for the children of thy people just like he did to our forefathers. He's going to do this in modern day times as well, too. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 1. We got the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 1. He said, The word that came to Jeremiah, I was saying. Jeremiah 30, verse 2. Thus speak of the words of Yahweh of Israel, write all these words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Jeremiah 30, verse 3, For lo, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith Yahweh, and I will cause a return to the land which I get to that box, and they shall possess it. For right, our homeland is over there in Jerusalem. Because so, uh, Jerusalem is a people who was a place uh, to Zion, which is a monument to the children of Israel. Jeremiah 30, verse 4, it says, These are the words that Yahweh speaking concerning Israel, concerning Judah, by right, us, the Israelites of his people. Uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 5. Uh, that's the answer, no, that's the answer. We have heard the voice of trouble and the fear of not peace. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his horns, as a woman in travail, and all the face are turned to pelvis. And this is out of prophet Jeremiah 30 verse 7. At last, that day is great. So not like it is even the time of the trouble where he should be saved out of it. I'll go right side and be saved during the uh, time of the trouble as he comes into full effect. And this is uh, the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. It says, uh, The prophets that have been before thee and before thee all prophesy up against many countries and great kings of war, evil, and pestilence. Right, so this is our great forefathers, you know, they were prophesying against great countries and great kings of uh, war, evil, and pestilence. That's what we're doing in modern day times. 
prophesying about great countries and great kings of our war, even the peasants. This is uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 9. The prophet which prophesied of peace when the word of the prophet should come to pass. Then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh has should be sent. And this is uh, the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 38, and verse 1. It says, uh, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Ezekiel 38, verse 2. It says, uh, Son of man, set thy face against God, and may God. And the chief of Meshach, too, all prophesied against him. Right, so we're prophesying against uh, God, and may God, the chief of Meshach, too, all, which represents the Russians. In Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 3. And thus saith Yahweh, thy power, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief of Meshach, too, all, right, still to this day. In Ezekiel 38, verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put the into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth in all thy army, close and close. All of them cloth for all sorts of armor, even a great company, buckle and shields, all of painted swords. Kind. Right, so we're going to continue to see Russia in that warlike mindset. And the heavy fire is going to continue to put the hooks and back to the jaws of these Russians. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 5. It says, uh, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, with all of them were shielded with him. Right, uh, Persia, which is uh, Elam, uh, Kush, which is the Ethiopia, Libya, the Ishmaelites, all of them were shielded with him. Right, so all of them were fully equipped with arms, shielded with him. This is from Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6. It says, uh, Gomer, right, it says, Gomer and all his bands. It says the uh, Gomer was the mount of the Tur Turkey army throughout the Iraq and Syria. In Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6, it says, Gomer and all his bands are out of the of the north course, and all his bands meet people with him. This is uh, the prophet Ezekiel 38, verse 7. Be thou prepared, prepare for thyself, all thy companies that are separate unto thee, be thou a God unto them. Right, so God and make our chief of speech at two all which represents the bear of the Russians. They're going to be a guard to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey. As you see in the escalation, I need to have a little bit of a back over there in Western Asia. So, uh, Prophet Ezekiel, because their main target is going to be the Israel Defense Force, because you're going to have the uh, Turkish armies, uh, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey, and the dragons of Arabia. And uh, you're going to have the Syrian armies, you're going to have the Russian armies. They're going, all going to team up together, which we're seeing in progress as we're speaking. And then they're going to be targeting the Israel Defense Force, and they're going to be targeting the United States Army so far as well, too, over in the Western Asia. But mostly, primarily, they're going to be targeting the Israel Defense Force over there in the area. And this, uh, that's why Russia is going to be a guard to these nations of Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, and Turkey over there in Western Asia. And this is uh, Ezekiel, chapter 39, verse 1. Therefore, thou son of man, prophesy against God, and the, uh, thus say, if you have thy power, behold, I am against thee, O God, the cheapest of Meshach, two ball, right, still to this day, which represents the Russians. Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 2. And I will turn thee back and leave up the sixth part of the key, and I will cause to come up from the north parts, and I will bring them upon the mountains of Israel. Ezekiel 39 verse 3. And I will spot thy bow at thy left hand, and I will cause thy arrows to fall on thy right hand. And this is the prophet Isaiah 17 verse 1. Yeah, this is the prophet Isaiah 17 verse 1. The burden of the masses. Behold, the masses that say, Put me in the city, and you should be in the city. Says, uh, for behold, in those days and that time when I shall bring again in captivity, I will choose the Jewish part of the Israelites. Right, from our forefathers and ancestors, all the way to us, we, we represent Judah and Jerusalem. Joel chapter 3, verse 4, because our Jerusalem is a people because the place we represent Jerusalem, this is Iran, which is a monument to the Israelites. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 2, and I will gather all nations and bring them down to the battle of Moses, and I will survive. But I will plead with them for my people, for my heritage, Israel. Whom they have scattered them on the nations of part of my land, right? They still part of the part of the nations of the state. And Jerusalem should be proud of the entire people field. And Joel chapter 3, verse 3. They have cast lots upon my people, right? The heavy boss people. They have given a boy for harvest, so the girl for wine to get my drink, what they did to our four boss against us. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 4. This is a key to the heavy people. I heard, are you can hear the same Right the head, right the head, many nations. It says, and all the coast of Palestine was Ishmaelites. It says, uh, we you're, you're, me you're and with that and it says, uh, and if you recommend we split, we will speak. We don't recommend going to be Why is that? Recommend is definitely going to be on the head. The Ishmaelites and the Hamites as well, too. 
Joel Shaq for they is our four boss and ancestors. And what's uh, taking place to go to a mom protect. So, you know, Heavenly Father, the Father, the Spanish, the uh, second place to go to a mom protect. It says, uh, Malachi 3 verse 6, you know, the Heavenly Father must change the Joel Shaq for verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and carried them into your temple, my good breast things. Why, we are. We are the precious gold and silver of the heavenly Father, power of us this place, especially from our forefathers and ancestors. Joel chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have been sold unto the Christians like the Edomites, that you might remove them from our works. This is the day we stay in the land of our captivity, that we've been scattered from our forefathers and ancestors. This uh, book of uh, Hosea 1, verse 10 says Israel should be a sin and seed. So Judah and Jerusalem were oppressed together by these uh, nations. These are uh, ham, ham medic nations, these are uh, Ishmaelites, and uh, there's uh, Edomites as well, too. But these small have they had finance and slave trade as well, too. And that sub Saharan slave trade as well, too. So, have you forgot, have forgot about that? You've probably never passed and was taking place as well, too, towards his people. Just like it says in the book of Psalms uh, 83, verse 1 through verse 7, they act confederate against the children of Israel with one consent that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Just like it says in Jeremiah 17, verse 4, because we've been dis discontinued from our heritage. Now we're. Uh, and now we're getting our, our heritage back. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 5. Because you had taken my silver and my gold and carried them into your temple, my good depressed things. And this is uh, the prophet Joel chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah, and the children of Israel, had you sold unto the Christians, the right priests of the Edomites, and that you might remove them from that war. And the priests there were the same thing. Uh, speak these different languages, all these different customs of other nations. He says, Behold, we're raising them up out of placement and so on. We're telling you, we're us upon our head. For us, the heavy father's going to raise us up out of placement. These other nations have sold us. We're going to get some poor balls all the way into us. And he's going to return that recompense upon that our head, right? So, Joel chapter 3, verse 8, and that will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. Right? So, these are uh, Edomites, just like they did that to our poor balls and ancestors. That's going to happen toward them times. No problem. It says, and I will sell your sons and your daughters and the children of Judah. And they shall send them to the Severians. Well, the Severians are there because those are people over there again, to the people far off of how it has spoken. And this is the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man, and let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Right, that's what we're seeing in progress as we're speaking. That's why the heavenly father has gathered the nations up over there in Bible, most of them from Western Asia. But he's going to plead with them for his people, for his heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations of part of his land. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. It says, Meet your plowshares and the swords and the pointy hooks and the spears, and let the weak stand strong. Right, let the weak stand strong with these armies of nations. They'll look up their nuclear capability against their adversaries, and that's what we see. Joel chapter 3, verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, which the armies of the other nations. And the guide yourselves together round about this is the cause our mighty ones to come down, all ye have. Right, so the heavenly father is slowly but surely gathering the nations up all there about Jehoshaphat. He's going to sit there and judge all the armies of the heathen nations round about. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 12. Let the heathen be awakened, come up into the battle of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat. For there I will sit and judge all the heathen round about with the armies of the other nations. Joel chapter 3, verse 13. Put ye in the sickle for the harvest of the earth, come eat the dad for the precious food, and the fast of the world for that which is written. Joel chapter 3, verse 14. Also, 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 the day of the house, the day of the decision, the process of the day of the heavenly box, the day of the house, the decision, the house, 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 Joel chapter 3, verse 15. Yep, still good. Joel chapter 3, verse 15. It says, uh, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall be dry their shine. This is a uh, prophet Joel 3, verse 16. And the power of your house shall also brought out of his eyes, and none of his voice shall be loosened, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But how will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel? Joel chapter 3, verse 17. So shall ye know that I am your house, your house dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and no stranger shall pass through anymore. Right, Jerusalem. Because we represent Jerusalem here. So the, the uh, strangers of the other nations are not going to uh, pass through us anymore when that time approaches. Joel chapter 3, verse 18. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountain shall drop down to Newark. And the hills shall flow with wood of the new. All the groups of Judah shall flow with waters, and the fountain shall come forth. And the house of your house will come. It says, And the water shall bow its chest. And this is of the prophet Joel, verse 19. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. But the violence against the children of Judah, because they had shed spoil their land, right? This is a uh, Zechariah 11, verse 5, which is a slave who himself to kill. That's Esau, Edom. 
and your sister, our brother Jacob, says his name, Joel chapter 10, verse 20. But you should uh, share the wealth every every person. Joel chapter 10, verse 20. Joel chapter 1 verse 27. And ye shall know I am in the midst of Israel, that I am Yahweh your power, and none else my people shall not be ashamed. For we are his people, the Israelites. For my forefathers and ancestors all unto us, we are the Israelites. So he's uh, only in the midst of his people. And this is uh, the book of Amos, the third chapter. Yep, Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Uh, it says, uh, It is bold that you know that is spoken against you, O children of Israel. Against the whole families which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, Why right, does our forefathers and ancestors they was in ancient Egypt? Uh, and this is a uh, modern spiritual Egypt. So, this uh, modern spiritual Egypt is going to be a great deliverance. Just like it was a great deliverance for our forefathers and ancestors out of Egypt. It's going to be a great deliverance out of uh, modern spiritual Egypt. It's going to. Amos, there verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Christ of the Heavenly Father has only known us of all the families of the earth. So, he will punish you for our iniquities. This is uh, Amos 3 verse 3. And two walk together, except they be agreed. Now, if it's, on, if it's on the same right path of the heavenly body, how of course. But if it's the opposite of that, except two, two cannot be agreed. Amos 3 verse 4. Though a lion roar in the forest, he has no prey. With a young lion cried out his den, he had taken nothing. Amos 3 verse 5. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth? There's no gem for him. Shall one take up a snare from the earth? He have taken up at all. Amos 3 verse 6. It says, Amos then verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? <laughs> shall it be evil in the city and your house has not done? Amos then verse 7. Should the power of the city be the city of 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 the Amos then verse 8. The lion has gold. And your house has spoken. Who can't put a prophesy? Right, who can't put a prophesy inside heaven? Now let's get into that uh Slovakia. Y'all get to that Isaiah 55 verse 6. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. Y'all it says, uh, seek me and I will why he may prevail, call upon him while he is near. Right, so we gotta seek the head of the body, and I will call upon him while he is near, as being his chosen people. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7. It says, uh, let the wicked forsake his way, and the righteous may be salt. Let him return unto your house. Will have mercy upon him and tell us our power for he will upon the heart. Right, so once we turn back into the heavenly body, how as being the chosen people, come back to our heritage and our culture, our customs, our language. Hey, I don't want to rock this out of the heavenly body, will upon the heart. Once we turn back unto him as being the chosen people, and this is a uh, prophet Isaiah. We got this uh, prophet Isaiah 33 verse 6. It says, uh, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. In the strength of salvation, the fear of the power of our children. The fact is, the fear of the power of our children. Again, the wisdom is the fear of the power of our children. Isaiah 33, verse 6. It says, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Christ said, wisdom and knowledge that we should be the stability of our times, especially in the time of the doctors we get to. As that clock showed that he's our son, he's the son of the times. So that wisdom and knowledge that we should be the stability of our times is the salvation of the fear of the house of the truck. This is the second conference. We have this up in the second conference, the second verse 14. It says, uh, If my people reach on calm on the name, shall humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, forgive their land. Right, so we we'll turn back into the heavenly father, turn from our evil wicked ways, the best our ability. And then a heavenly father, he will give us from heaven, will give our sins, will heal our land. And this is how we put the soul on. Yeah, this is how we put the soul on, chapter 5, verse 1, from the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures. 
It says, set thy, set not thy heart upon thy goods and say, I have nothing to offer. Right, shut up your heart and your mind. So, Rock chapter 5, verse 2. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in ways of thy heart. Right, the scripture says, the heart should see above all things because your heart is your mind. So, Rock chapter 5, verse 3. It says, say not who should control me for my works, but your heart will surely revenge thy pride. Right, Proverbs 16, verse 18. This is uh, so rock chapter 5, verse 4. And say now I have sinned, but what I have harmed. That's me. When you're out of time, so you will not wise that you know. So rock chapter 5, verse 5. It says, discern the temptation. Be without fear to add sin unto sin. So rock chapter 5, verse 6. It says, say now his mercy is great, and he will have to lie for the motives of his sins. But mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation is against the poor sinners. This is uh, the book of So rock chapter 5, verse 7. Make no terror to return to your hour and put on hope from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of your hour come forth, and thy security thou shalt be perish in the day of vengeance. Right, that's why the heavenly father says, Make no terror to return to the heavenly father and put on hope from day to day, as those being shows the people. That's why I said, Seek ye how he never So we got to return back to the heavenly father. But, you know, we only out here for the remnant, uh, out here uh, searching for the remnant of the elect. I don't want to rock side and continue making our call the sure as well, too. Continue uh, fishing for the elect of the uh, remnant because uh, the heavenly father is coming back for the restored remnant, like it says in Isaiah the uh, 11th chapter. And this is uh, the book of Baruch. Yep, everything is good. And this is uh, the book of Baruch, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, uh, For all the people who are in the world, and for all the of the Lord, and coming from your house of heaven. This is uh, the book of Baruch, chapter 5, verse 2. Cast about thee the double gun of righteousness, which coming from your house, and set up a night in the heaven of glory of the everlasting. Baruch 5, verse 3. For your house will shoot like brightness unto every country under heaven. Baruch 5, verse 4. For thy name shall be called of your house forever and ever in the peace of righteousness, and the glory of your house to worship. Baruch 5, verse 5. O rise up Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about towards the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west, unto the east, by the heaven of the Lord, and the of God. Luke chapter 5 verse 6, but they depart from the old court and the other way of the hills, but I will bring them to each other as the glory of the children of the kingdom. Right, the scripture says that the kingdom of heaven is within you, the history of the spirit. It says of uh, Daniel 7 verse 18, and the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom, and they shall possess it forever and ever. Right, so uh, the kingdom of the heavenly father is given unto us, and as since we are this uh, people of this place. Okay, Daniel 4 verse 44, and the kingdom of the heavenly father now is going to last forever. So the Heavenly Father is going to overthrow these uh, kingdoms of the nations just like he did in ancient times. We're going to see this in modern times. This is out of the book of the Ruth, chapter 5 and 6. But they depart from thee on foot, but let the way of their enemies, which I will bring with them to the exalt of the glory of the children of the kingdom. The Ruth 5 verse 7. It says, uh, For your hour has appointed at every high hill and banks and all the kings. And it says, uh, For they depart from thee on foot, but they let the way of their enemies, which I will bring with them to the exalt of the glory of the children of the kingdom. Even the ground that Israel may go safe in the glory of your house. Uh, even the ground that Israel may go safe in the glory of your house. chapter 5, verse 8. It says, More open the woods, and every sweet smell shall overshadow Israel by the commandment of your house. Uh, Ruth 5, verse 9. But your house shall let Israel be joyful out of his glory, and with the mercies and righteousness that come from him. Uh, now I'm going to get into that. Uh, Switch up the topic. Into that first job. Let's take it. Yeah, this is our first job. Let's take it. It says, uh, Love not the poor, and then the things are in the poor, and then the things are in the poor, and then the poor, and then the poor, and then the poor. That's what I'm talking about. It's a lot of people, and 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 it's a lot of people. Now, we are of the world, not of the world, but it's a conspiracy to figure out the ways of the world. Even though, we're up, even though we're in the world, we're not of it. But basically, and spiritually, we're not the ways of the That's why scripture says, you know, love not the world, even though things are in the world, if any man loves the world, but the father in it. So, we don't love the ways of the father, not because we love the ways of history. Now. This is uh, 1 John 2 verse 16. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not in the father, but it's of the world. Christ said, The lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Just like it says in Proverbs 16 verse 18, try to scorch the hearts of people who are involved. 
It says, for, for all that is in the world, the lust of flesh, the lust of eyes, the pride of life, the pride of 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 the pride to come. Even now, there are many anti Hamashiachs. Whereby well, we know this is the last times, probably the last times of the uh, signs of the times. So that uh, increases the spirit of the uh, is going to increase. Uh, that spirit of uh, increasing of anti Hamashiach and Hamashiach is going to be increasing the rise of the So thereby we know this is the last times of the signs of the times. Still good. Just uh, for the long time. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, fellow Israelites, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of your house, that you present your bodies for the sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto your house, which is your original service. Right, so this is our original service to come out of the Bible chances of uh, being Israel to the marriage, whether they hear what they fear, you know, sound your mom, blowing the trumpet, lifting up the names of Yahweh Yahshah, prophesying in the names of Yahweh Yahshah, standing up for righteousness on behalf of our on behalf for our nation, you know. So this is making our bodies of sacrifice holy and acceptable, which is our reason for service. And this is uh, Romans 12, verse 2. It says, Be not conformed to this world, but each one is formed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what's good and acceptable and the perfect of your house. Right, so we got to uh, continue to be renewed in our mind, coming back into the righteous path, as being the heavenly Father shows people to us and his rights. Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but 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 be not conformed to this is uh, Romans 13, verse 12. Do not get far spent, the days at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of light. Like it says in uh, Ephesians 6, verse 10. Uh, Romans 13, verse 13. It says, uh, Let us walk honestly as the day down the road of darkness, not chained at once in the time to our end. This is uh, Romans 13, verse 13. It says, Let us walk honestly as the day down the road of darkness, not chained at once in the time to our end. It says, Let us walk honestly as the day down the road of darkness, not yeah, this is the first lesson on chapter 5, verse 1. It says, But of the time to cease his brother, he had no need of brother to give him all better than life. The first lesson on this chapter is to bring yourself more perfectly that the day of your house should come to sleep with us. The practice of the day of the house should come to sleep with us. And this is the first lesson on this chapter. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. It says, uh, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, so the destruction come upon them. As if one were to be a child, the nation not escape. Right? So, for when they shall say, Peace and safety, that first type spirit, the young boy lifted up type spirit, uh, so the destruction come upon them. As if one were to be a child, the nation not escape. And this is uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 4. It says, uh, Good you, brethren, are not in the darkness, that that day which shall overtake his feet. This is 1 uh, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5. Ye are the children of the light, like the Israelites. In the children of the day, we are not of the light of darkness. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore, let us sleep not as the brothers, but let us wash our soul. Christ, we're going to continue to be washed our soul. It's an experience. We're going to continue to be washed our soul. We're going to continue to be washed our soul. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 7. The day that sleeps in the night, the day we go to the night. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 8. But let us who are of the day and sober and uh, look forward to the first place of faith and love and have the hope and salvation. Um, and so the book of 2 Timothy. Yeah, this is uh, the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. This know also that in the last days, prayer of the time to come, which is day that time. So that's what we're seeing. It's all about the same thing. Uh, Second Timothy, he's there, verse 2. The man shall be loved of his sins, of his emotions, and pride, and laughter, and disobedience, and unthankful, and hope. Second Timothy, that's the other one. You know, as the Bible verse is in verse 18, it's stated, you know, pride, and destruction, and all the people who are born. 
so we definitely are seeing a lot of uh, problems with the last book that we have to play the whole This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 3. Without acts of affection, true work is false security. In the sense, the spirit is spies that those are good. This is Isaiah 5 verse 20. What was to them that call each good a good evil? Isaiah 29 verse 16. Surely your face is turned upside down, seeing the spots of faith. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 4. Traders, idiots, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of your house. Right, so you're going to have high minded traders, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of your house. That's going to be around all the time. It's evilness and wickedness, it's not deceiving in society. It's a question of righteousness being in the highest degree. Right, that's why I should say, show you a thing to turn upside down, stay spicy. It's going to be around for a little more and more. It's going to be around for a little more and more. Second Timothy 3 verse 5. Have no more about it, this book, and not the house of all the rest of the world. 2 Timothy 3 verse 6, of this sort, are they going to be in the house of they have to see one? They did with the sin, they did with the Bible express. 2 Timothy 3 verse 7, they never learned, 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 now in Janus and Jambres, what's the Moses? So do these also resist the truth men of corrupt minds and reprobates concerning the faith? Right, so we're going to be seeing that rampant uh, reprobate spirit, <laughs> especially the people in the world, <laughs> Israelites that's in the world as well too. You know, we're going to have that uh, reprobate state of mind. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 9. But they shall see no further for their father, shall manifest unto all men as God also was. Right, like it says, how he has to send verse 6. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 10. It said, But thou hast fully known my doctrine in the manner of life and purpose, in uh, faith and longsuffering and charity and patience. And this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 10. But thou hast known, it said, But thou hast fully known my doctrine, right? The doctrine of heaven Father. What's his true name is uh, Yahweh, Yahweh in the ancient Bible Hebrew. But thou hast fully known my doctrine in a man of life and purpose and faith alone and, and suffering and share patience. Make sure everything good. Second Timothy 3 verse 11. It says, uh, persecution and affliction which came unto me at Echo. And uh, uh, it says, persecution and affliction which came unto me in Antioch and Eichel and Elixir. Which persecution I endure, but out of them I would deliver me. Right. It's like our forefathers, they endure the, uh, the persecutions. And we're going to be going through persecution in the uh, last days. Like it says, you know, man, we're going to be 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 going to Right, that's why it says in Matthew 24, chapter says, Take heed that no man deceive you, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Uh, Daniel 12, verse 4, knowledge shall be increased. Uh, Isaiah 34, verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be used a million more times. In the script of salvation, the reveal of the how that house is true. 2 Timothy 3, verse 14. The thing about the thing is not how it's known, again, the show of whom not has heard. Right, that's the father set of the, uh, the elders. That's why I'm saying Barack Obama to the uh, elders. As we continue in the doctrine of the heavenly father Yahweh. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. In that from the child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make wise unto salvation. Through the faith which said, the Mashiach, Yahweh. 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh and profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction, and righteousness. 2 Timothy 3, verse 17. That the man of Yahweh may be perfect, who runs unto all the works of God. Now I'm going to get into that book of Ephesians. And this is out of the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, and verse 10. It says, uh, Finally, my brother, be strong in Yahweh and the power of his might. Right? We got to continue to be strong in the heavenly Father and trust the power of his might as us Israelites. Because the heavenly Father, he's only invested in his people. He don't care about his people. Second, I mean, not second. Uh, Ephesians 6, verse 11. Put on the whole arm of your album as you may be able to withstand the last deceiver. Right, it's like it says in uh, Revelation 12, verse 12, the ultimate deceiver should come down with great rags, so we have a short time to prove. 
<clears throat> just like it says in the first Peter's five verse eight, be sober and efficient because your adversary receiver is a one lion walking about see who that power. That's gonna be increasing more and more these last days. So us uh, Israelites, you know, we gotta continue to go to war and how to the best of our ability. This is uh Ephesians 6 verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers and the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Right, so we're uh dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places in the darkness of the rulers of this world. Ephesians 6 verse 13. <clears throat> Wherefore, take on to you the whole arm of your house that ye able to withstand the evil they have done on this day. Right, so we got to continue to put on that whole arm of your house so we withstand that evil they have done on this day as we approach these times. Feed the six of us uh, 14. Standing, having your bones girded up without the truth. <coughs> Heavy on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, feed the six verse 15. And your feet and shoe with the preparations of the gospel of peace. Feed the six verse 16. Above all, take the shield of faith and you should be able to put y'all the fire without some wicked. Rock the fire without some wicked is going to be preaching these last days. Hey, shout out to that brother, your house, and props and sing each other from the corner. with the filthy spirit, right? Be filled with the righteous spirit of the heavenly body power and be not drunk in the wine of the ways this world. Yeah, this is uh the book of Colossians chapter four verse five. Uh Colossians chapter four verse five. It says walk with wisdom towards them without redeeming the times. Right, so we've got to continue to walk with wisdom towards them without redeeming the times. You know what the time's about to enter into of these very serious times. And this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And this is out of the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. It says, Be sober and vicious, because your adversary the deceiver is a warning line walking about seeking and devouring. As I uh, reference that scripture now, I'm just finally just brought it out. Christ, this ultimate deceiver, yeah, hey, he's going to be walking about seeking and devouring on these last days. It's uh, Revelation. So that's why we're going to continue to put, a, put on that whole arm your house and apply this uh, wisdom and house understanding and be circumspect to the best of our ability in this world, too. I don't want to rock this out your house, will So I'm going to get back to that Revelation 13 chapter as we get it closer and closer to this uh, cash in society. Yep, everything good. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 16. And it calls to all, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bonds, to receive a karate in their right hand or in their F O R E. F O R E H D N E S. Right, so in order to buy or sell, this is what they're pushing for. As they said, because it was a newest article that just came out, it said like a hundred and uh, it said like a hundred like and twenty four like countries. They are uh, choosing the uh, central digital bank currency. As they said, the uh, nations. Because you, you had like certain uh, nations uh, like Nigeria and other, I forgot the other country, the other countries, they are already in the uh, CBDC phase, which is the central digital bank currency. They already have uh, applied to it. Now they are already using it, you know. So the other nations, they're going to follow that lead as well, too, of this uh, cash, uh, cash society. This is uh, Revelation 13, 16. And it 
across all of these parts of the country for three months. So to see if they can lock it in their liking or in their FRE if you get right. So if you're up the last whole class the economic spectrum throughout the whole planet, this is what they're pushing for. It's a uh, digital digital banking, digital ID, digital body, digital currency. And very soon, you know, very soon the paper route, that's gonna be the thing fast as we see in processing stand, uh, processing the states as they lean towards that moment. Revelations 13, verse 17, and that no man might buy your sale, save that he had the Kawhi, or the name of the BEASC, or the number of his name. Right, so in order to buy your sale, you gotta be part of this uh, BEASC system to take that RFID and see it's on the of your Now, this is a major prophecy that's about to have a massive field. So if you don't have that, that uh, that paragma of the RFID and the CHIB, that they want you to store your body, to scan your body, see if you can be able to buy your sale. So if you don't have that, you won't be able to function in the society. You won't be able to buy yourself. This is what we're about to enter into. This is uh, Revelation 13, verse 17. And that no man might, it says that no man might buy yourself, save that he has the Quran or the name of the BEASC or the number's name. Right, so if you don't have that CHIP of this RFID of this uh, Quran of the MOCB in order to buy yourself, hey, you won't be able to buy yourself, you know. Revelation 13, verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding. Count the number of the BEAST. It says, uh, for it is a number of a man. His number is S I X D M S B score. And this is uh, Revelation 14, verse uh, 9. I mean, verse 8. Revelation 14, verse 8. It says, and there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city. Because you have all the nations drink the wine and wrath of fornication. Christ could be today. Revelation 14, verse 9. Third age, the prophet said, "For thy voice, if any man worship the BDA, and see in his image, receive with the rod on his in his uh, receive with the rod in his F R E H D E or tenure. Right, so it's going to be a penalty. It's going to be a penalty for that if you take that off right even C H I P of this uh, BDA S system and this uh, rod in this world too. Revelation fourteen verse ten. The same shall drink the wine and ride your album. It says the same shall drink the wine and wrap your album score with our mixture. It's cup this hidden nation." He should be returned with fire and brimstone. Right, so you're going to get hit with fire and brimstone in the presence of holy angels in the presence of uh, Lamb if you take that off by getting CHIP. That's why we're out here telling the children of Israel, we not partake of that, be partaker of the righteous path, the righteous ways inside the heavenly body house. Revelation 14, verse 10, the same shall drink the wine and wrath. It says, the same shall drink the wine and wrath, for your hour was poured without mixture. And his cup is in the nation. He shall be torn with a fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. Revelation 14, verse 11. In the smoke of the atonement, I say, up there, can never They have no, it says, they have no rest day or night who worship the BEAST in his image. And whosoever receive the Quran in his name. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 3, verse 10. Yeah, Revelation 3, verse 10. It says, uh, hey, shout out to that brother, Yahweh, the prophets of the same just become twain. Revelation 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the words of my patience. I will also keep thee for the hour of patience, which shall come upon all the world to try to make the world upon earth. Right, so as long as we continue to keep the words of patience of uh, Heavenly Father and uh, inform the Lord and the church of Israel, we're going to take that in with you. And I don't know why I'm going to stop. That we, uh, you know, that we, uh, that as long as we keep the words of patience of Heavenly Father, that he will keep us in the hour of patience. I don't know why I'm going to stop. So I'm going to bring out that Isaiah 11 chapter that I'm closed out. So back out here again for the second time on the highways and edge of the Chief Vessel Concourse on this uh, Thursday uh, noon slash afternoon, September the 19th, 2024. Wadi Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, as always, for giving us the opportunity chance to come out here to do so. And uh, for Wadi Yahweh, uh, camp on this path with the Holy Angels. May Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh, do that for the uh, elders for Akim May out here teaching today as well. Too. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah, left verse 10. It says, in that day, that should be a root of Jesse, right, our forefather Jesse. Because we are we are the sons and daughters of our forefathers Jesse. We are the descendants of them. Isaiah 11 verse 10. In that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for the ensign of the people. And shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah chapter 11 verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that your house shall say the sin again the second time. So we cover the remnant of his people. Christ of the heavenly father will cover the remnant of his uh, people. This is us. I will rock so that we part take her up there. Which shall be left from the Syria. And for Egypt, and for Paphros, and for Cush, and for Elam, and for Shalom, and for Haman, and for the island of the sea. Isaiah 11 verse 12. And he shall set up an enzyme for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the source of Jupiter, and the source of Israel. 
like he says, Jose at 1 verse 10, and Israel should be the same seed. Judah and Jerusalem are pressed together, and we've been scattered among all the nations. It says, and it shall come to pass. I mean, I'll uh, read that again. Isaiah 11 verse 12. He shall set up an enzyme for the nations. And it shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together to disperse the Judah from the four corners of the earth. Why the outcasts of Israel and gather and gather to disperse the Judah from the four corners of the earth. Isaiah 11 verse 13. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversary of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not eat the Judah, and Judah shall not vex him. Right, so the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of the chopped tribes, you know, they're not going to envy and vex one more. You know, they're not going to envy and vex one another no more. They're going to come back together as they have been Isaiah 11 verse, that's why I'm seeing Zachary 9 and 20 verse 1 is in progress. So I'm to that. Isaiah 11 verse 14. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. And they shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Eden, Eden so called white, more by so called Chinese, and the children of Ammon, so called Japanese, very short baby. As uh, Eden and the children got together, they're going to spoil uh, Moab, um, Edom, Moab, and the children of Ammon, short baby. More, uh, Moab, so called Chinese, and Ammon, so called Japanese, for Rams, and Edom, so called white people. I do me, I shall be that way, so wait. This is uh, the prophet Isaiah, that verse 15. In the power of your house shall others destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. With his mighty wind shall he shake his hand no rivers, and he shall smite it even as seven springs to make man go over dry shore. And this is uh, the prophet Isaiah, that verse 16. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people, which shall be a left, like as was in the day that he came without a land of Egypt. Right, because the northern kingdom, you know, they was in that Syria captivity, and had the father going to gather them back together. And uh, Israel as well, too, of the northern, southern, northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, they was in the land of uh, Egypt as well, too. So it's going to be a great deliverance out of our poverty spiritual future. And it's going to, the heavy father will destroy, destroy the destroy the people. And this is the second head of chapter 6, verse 1. He answered me, it says, he answered me, and he said unto me, in the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds broke. Second heavy 6, verse 2. Before the thunder of the Lord, September 19, 2024, on this uh, Thursday uh, noon slash afternoon. Hey, the water, how about you? As always, we're giving us an opportunity to chance to come out and do so. Lifting up the names of your high white and uh, the rock of thumbs to your elders for Akiva Akiva. And I say shout out So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to say Yahweh, Basha, Yahweh Shah, Basha, Baka Dasha. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is the Yahweh, and the Son of the God, the Son, Baha Shem, and then Mashiach Yahweh those are their true names in the ancient Hebrew Hebrew, the Lashem of the Lashem of the Tongue. I say for Rock of Thumb to the elders while I can Until next time, I will say, Call me after Allah, and above the ball, Shalom.